Lady Pancake and serve French toast. Deep in the fridge and behind the green peas, way past the tofu and left of the cheese, up in the corner and back by a roast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. The leftover friends were as close as could be until they heard news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. The syrup is almost completely all gone. A single drop's left, just a drop, she went on. <laughs> the last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed, but French Toast replied, not if I get there first. Like that, he was off and the race had begun with Pancake behind breaking into a run. Through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain, they climbed to the top of Potato Mash Mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead, toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. <laughs> I don't know, if you've read this book before, there's a bunch of oranges that are kind of hanging out next to orange juice fountain, and they look very happy for some reason. Just think about that. <laughs> <laughs> she screeched to a stop at the edge of the shelf, clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice and couldn't quite stop, plummeting down into jam with a plop. He scraped himself off and yelled up, You're a meanie! As Pancake rappelled down a rope of linguine, she bragged, I'm the best of all breakfast food treats, then hurled a lime and skipped over two beets. Does anybody like beets? <laughs> beets are super delicious food. They are really, really sweet, and they turn your hands and face all purple and pink. Everyone should go home and ask for beets for lunch. <laughs> Tell them Josh Funk said so. I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak, so Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak. Skiing past spinach and artichoke dip, Toast vaulted high in the air with a flip. Nearing the edge, he tried one final jump, but stumbled and fell way below with a thump. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across oceans of soup causing spills, but Chili Lagoon slathered Pancake in muck, and then, at a fork in the road, she got stuck. <laughs> Let's see a little fork there with a smiley face. Don't go that way, yelled a chickpea to Warner, but Pancake sped on and got trapped in a corner. Caught behind dressings, one rush and one ranch, she squeezed out and started a bean avalanche. Does anyone know what an avalanche is? Yeah, what's an avalanche? Um, it's when snow falls. Yeah, when snow falls off a mountain or rocks, or in this case, beans. Uh, does anybody like beans? Beans are one of the healthiest foods out there. They, uh, the more beans you eat, studies show, the longer you will live. And they're also a magical musical fruit. Yeah. Toast reemerged in the vegetable crisper, sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. Beans were now falling from such a great height. Some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from raining legumes, Toast turned to hide, but was blasted by fumes of Brussels sprouts left from an old party platter. So quickly he climbed up a celery ladder. Does anyone like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It is mine, she demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling, too tired to push, they were limping and stumbling. There stood the bottle of syrup at last. But wait, it was empty.